nastiest bathrooms in the 1900s. Oh, man, we used to play restroom roulette. Now you walk into a bathroom and it's all touchless, antiseptic, sanitary. Back in the 1900s, it was like, you didn't know what you were gonna touch. You would, do, you would have to do that hover maneuver over the toilet seat, you didn't want to touch that. And then we had the cheapest toilet paper back in the 19, it wasn't even single ply toilet, it was like no ply toilet paper. You would pull it, it would literally disintegrate in your hand as you pulled it. It's like you would need 89 pads of toilet paper to get one good wipe, which meant there was a 90% chance the next kid was getting zero toilet paper. Could they have invested in better toilet paper? Sure, but what do they do? Instead of getting better toilet paper, they got bigger, cheaper single ply. Remember that big wheel of toilet paper, the big three foot spool <laughs> with the padlock on it? Wait, I'm gonna steal this, what am I gonna do with 3,000 miles of toilet paper? <laughs> but you couldn't just pull it, it wouldn't just turn. You had to like one arm, you're trying to shift it up, the other hand, you're trying to pull it down. Your arm would slide into that metal box and it, oh, my, great, my arm is wedged in there, my butt's still dirty and the bell just rang. This is... <laughs> but then, some sanitary scientist came up with the, the toilet tissue dispenser box. They put a, it was a metal box. They put a stack of toilet tissues. You pull them out one at a time. It was like trying to wipe your butt with a post-it note. <laughs> We weren't animals, they taught us to wash our hands, right? You gotta wash your hands. We didn't have the nice temperature control faucet. It's, no, we had the hot level five Kilauea Hawaiian volcano hot and cold minus 387 degree Arctic chill. It was like, you'd have third degree burn and frostbite at the same time. <laughs> didn't have normal soap, we had powdered soap. Yeah, People, the schools that had money had nice Baraxo soap. We had the knockoff Baraxo. We had no Raxo soap. It was, it was basically sand, broken glass, and asbestos. <laughs> uh, great, my hands are clean. I can see blood and bone. <laughs> Go to, to dry your hands off. They had the, we, we didn't have the nice touch. Less. You had to hand crank it like, like a Model A fork. <laughs> and the cheapest paper towels are like tree bark coming out of there. Like, why is there the larvae of a Western pine beetle in my paper towel? <laughs> and some of you might remember in some places, they, some are still in use, they had this big metal box with that big cloth thing that would circulate. Remember that bacteria belt? <laughs> that loop of influenza? <laughs> Hadn't been changed since the stock market crash in 1929. Poor Rosa Parks was still using that when she was on the back of the bus. Be like, like, take a germ, leave a germ. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> hey, did you know that Dry Bar Comedy has their own app? Download it right now. You can watch, save, share clips, and watch my whole special.